Huh? Yeah, Monday was a very busy day. Yeah, Tuesday was pretty wild too. Yeah, it's been. Was yeah, Monday was the busiest. I agree. Yeah. And it's kind of odd how today it's almost calm. It's very quiet, and hey, it's almost dead. It's uh, surprising. Half hour this morning. So it's definitely 30 a.m. on Sunday. Yay! <laughs> Thanks. Everybody starts. Well, everybody's been more high about everything because it's the way you are when you take off. About a minute back. Thanks if you get in, get it done, go on. Everyone feels we're ready. We're saying she'll get out. And we're in the middle now. The commander says he's confident his men are ready. I don't think they look forward to it. Do you have his mic on? We're not, I'm not getting his mic at all. My name is Nick Cook. Okay, just got it now. James Weekly. Nick, this is Atlanta. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Thank you for coming in, sir. We'll be with you in about uh, eight, nine minutes from now. Fine. Thanks, Rob. Put you on hold. I'll be back shortly, okay? Thank you. Escucho muy mal. When do we have this? Do we have time booked for Jacob on the Saudi winds? It's supposed to happen. When, what's the wind up? Hey, Willie? Uh, who's dealing with Saudi? Bill? Give me Bill, please. Bill, when am I going to see Charlie and Saudi? Okay, do we have a window on this that we're supposed to be out at a certain time? Le puedo dar la descripción de la guerra, mira. Is that a problem? Is not legitimate. Later, in a televised address to his nation, President Nicolau Maduro said, "I'd say 20 to 30." Yeah. Everything. Now, everything. 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 Y una estática horrible, yo no escucho. Are you talking for a sec? Are you talking for a sec? Yeah. Do you want any kind of a harder lead than what I've got for pre-A7? If Frank has some more information, you might want to do something for a little punch. Yeah, tell Cheryl to give that a tougher lead. Cessna has more new information from the White House. Meanwhile, the Indian government has asked this parliament to today to allow Italian forces to take part in any military action. The decision on that is going to start in some time tomorrow. Now, responsibilities in the Persian Gulf crisis have fallen out of the hands of the diplomats and squarely onto the shoulders of the Did you give Wolf a wolf a time here? How long is he going to go? And CNN's Wolf Blitzer. Wolf, we have now had a pretty good idea. Hey, Control, you clear? Wait, clear with Wolf. With the uh, IFP-19, I need to talk to Baghdad. We're clear, Will. Thank you. Who is going to uh, fight alongside the United States? Yes, Ralph. I think that General Schwarzkopf, the commander of operations... Three Desert questions, Shield, correct? ...has worked Says out no ready. with chain of command details with all of the coalition You're going to make the switch allies. on this line? Certainly with the okay. French coming aboard, as President Mitterrand announced earlier today, and the other uh, allies. It seems that this chain of command problem has been resolved. Is the Pentagon oh, worried about a first strike against Pentagon. Israel by a rocket launcher? Yes, there's still deep concern here that the Iranians... Oh, this is better. Wolf is a... You know what Wolf's problem is? He's doing better today. He's just cutting it. himself. Iraqi, I don't know. He's, he's, he's still doing friends on some of these right now. ...that the U.S. is on the verge of striking out. There may be an Iraqi preemptive strike. That's why U.S. and Allied troops are on the highest state alert right now. I know. I... 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 I...
Give his order. I mean, I took How does that message get to the troops? What we're told here by Pentagon officials is that okay. most yeah, right, likely the, the president will call the defense secretary Dick Cheney and General Colin Powell, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, yeah, gotcha. to the White House. Gotcha. From the Situation Room in the White House, they would almost certainly place the first phone call to General Norman Schwarzkopf, the commander of Operation Desert Black Shield. They would also telephone we use this King of Saudi Arabia, who, who after here, all has to agree to all of this. And that would be the uh, basically the chain of command we move this along. for giving the initial order to go to war. Now the big question, Wolf, any indication of when uh, this would happen? U.S. military planners have always right. suggested Okay, let's move it along. It just says no on the break, is that it? by the United States to begin at night in order to take advantage of U.S. night fighting capabilities, the F-117A stealth fighter. That would mean that it would have to be at night sometime. We got the F-17 here. We didn't pull this. We call for this. So it could be any time. It could be tonight. It could be tomorrow night. The sense that I get here at the Pentagon is it's going to be a lot sooner than later. Like, oh, oh, well, hey, seven and eight, eight, eight will They've got the tape for this, Mark. We're getting some new information now from CNN White House correspondent. You're going to roll this, right? Frank? Well, talk to any official here at the White House, Charles, and you get the clear impression that but for the shooting, this is a war that's already begun. What are we doing next? Those two tells? ...as steel for the events that lie ahead. He met with a group of education policy advisors a short time ago here at the White House. He appeared subdued but relaxed, speaking softly. He said life goes on. Are you on with London? ...off suggestions that he is... No, uh, yes, I am, in the 1411. I tested him. He's fine, Mark. Are you shorten it? Will be a target in the coming no, he's going to us a regular card. Stand by two, we right double count. Double it up. Stand by the international law. Those who can. All right, stand by London, right? And we'll get an extra short card. We have a potential air war between Iraq and the United States. Let's go. All right, good enough. What are we doing? Coke next? Yes, that's right. We're doing as scripted, and then what do we get? All right. What do you want to do with gas tanks, and then? Decide how that came actually came about. Hmm. Just a phone I don't know. It happened and suddenly and it was on a scheduled event. Wouldn't well, surprise me. Yes, sure. Oh, people around the world hope and pray that there will not be a war in the Persian Gulf. For the families of the hundreds of thousands of U.S. servicemen and women in the Middle East, pray is all that many feel they can do now. Brian Pitts has the story of one such woman in Massachusetts. I love this too. Who did the original? I don't know. I Coming out to uh, 133, most of the nearly 1,000 people at Holy Ghost Parish in Whitman, a part of Gene Jenner's. You are already writing a singing song up in No Man's Territory. Right. Well, you're streaming out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
ahead on CNN, a special edition of Early Crime. We'll update you on the latest in the Persian Gulf crisis with live reports from the White House and from Baghdad. I'm Don Miller. I'm Marianne Laughlin. Another programming note at 11 p.m. tonight, we will replay the conversation last hour between newsman Walter Cronkite and our correspondents in Baghdad, Bernard Shaw and Peter Arnett. Join us as our coverage continues throughout the night on the crisis in the Gulf. All clear. Next. Peace be with you. Don't tell Lydia. Do it. Come on, guys. Okay. Nice night, Bill. Forgot about that. Right on. Have a good one. Thank you. Yeah. See you tomorrow, or maybe sooner. Or maybe sooner. Bush meets with education advisors, but it's far from business as usual at the White House, where officials say a strike against Iraq could begin at any time. Saddam Hussein takes direct control of Iraq's military forces after telling his troops in Kuwait to crush any attack by the U.S. and its allies. This is a special one-hour edition of Early Prime. I'm Cheryl Atkinson. I'm Lou Waters. Hello. The world is in the midst of a tense waiting game, waiting to find out if and when there will be war in the Persian Gulf. Unless Iraq suddenly backs down, the final fateful decision is expected to be made by one man, President Bush. We're going to switch now to CNN's senior White House correspondent, Charles Bierbauer, for an update on what's happening today at the White House. Charles. January 16th, 6.36 p.m. Uh, but uh, he doesn't seem to want uh, anything other than war, and uh, if that is indeed the case, he'll get it. Secretary Weinberg, you were credited with the uh, military buildup which is being put to use, uh, but there is one uh, area which, which has come to a lot of criticism. We have to go to Baghdad, Secretary. Uh, we're, we're going to Bernard Shaw in Baghdad. This is, uh, something is happening outside. Um, Peter Arnett, join me here. What, let's describe to our viewers what we're seeing. The skies over Baghdad have been illuminated. We're seeing bright flashes going off all over the sky. Peter? Well, there's uh, anti-aircraft gunfire going into the sky. Uh, we hear the sound of planes. They're coming over our hotel. However, we have not yet heard the sound of bombs landing, but there's tremendous lightning in the sky. Well, there's uh, anti-aircraft gunfire going into the sky. Uh, we hear the sound of planes. They're coming over our hotel. Get your get the right the, the, the animation like of the Gulf study. animation. I have a sense, Peter, that uh, people are shooting towards the sky. Start rolling all and kinds of masks back there from here on out. What they're shooting at. This is extraordinary. We want a live one on this. All the Let's get one in downtown on downtown Baghdad are still on, but as you look, you see trails of 
of uh, flashes of light going up into the air, obviously anti aircraft fire. No, nobody's We're got We're getting uh, starbursts, seeming starbursts in the, the black sky. We have not heard any jet planes yet, Peter. No point. Now the sirens are sounding for the first time. The Iraqis have informed us. They just cut the line. Get the French on the air. Keep it prepaid. Well, we heard uh, Peter Arnett saying the Iraqis have informed us, and then we didn't hear any more. This is probably just a technical glitch. Uh, they have four wires there that they can use, and those wires can Find be easily severed or pulled. Cool. Cool. It wasn't clear from, 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 from that report no, whether no, this right. was uh, no, a reaction to the real thing or or, or was the real thing. Well, the wires the Secretary uh, Weinberger here. Sir, you you heard that? Yes. What's your immediate? Right. Well, I would Cal guess that they hadn't heard any planes at all. That they're probably shooting at uh, what consumer yeah. no. 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 the alarm. The long streams of uh, stars. Weinberg. Weinberg is saying a great false alarm. Uh, heard described uh, is undoubtedly tracer fire uh, up, going up. Yeah, uh, but if right. they have no targets, they should be shooting at some kind of a false alarm. That's essentially what this could sound like. It could mean that the attack has started. Amon, are you on here? I'm from Atlanta. Let's break in uh, just, just to say now and repeat what we heard okay, from back before that, 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 uh, we that, that, lost communication. I need Amon now, now if they can tell me anything. Who's in Amon? Where's Saudi Arabia? The 14-story hotel, I believe, that our headquarters is in, in Baghdad. But they were seeing flashes in the sky. I need Amman, I need Saudi Arabia, I need the White House, I need the Pentagon. They seemed they described it as flashes like anti-aircraft. They also said they heard no sound of jet planes. And we assume they heard nothing that sounded like a bomb that could come from any plane. It's Peter Hume, the producer, talking to you. We can't possibly Peter, it's Bob for now. Do you hear me? Connected to Baghdad. White House and Pentagon are ready. You have to tell three years director to punch it up. Went off. Uh, Who are they? On, Peter Hume, it's Bob for some kind and there? started shooting in the sky. You know how that can happen. Beer 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 what can you tell us? Indeed, there's one very I can tell you very little, Bob. Uh, there's no evidence of any uh, sort of action or reaction uh, from uh, where I'm sitting here. All right, I'm going to come to you. Stay with me. What's Washington tell you about Blitzer? Is he ready? Does he have anything? You have anything, Dave. You got Peter Hume in Amman. You got an Amman map with Peter Hume? Go get the air check and queue it back up to Shaw's uh, fit. Uh, Wolf, what have you for us at this moment? Any indications here at the Pentagon that the war may be beginning right now that the president Where's the second line? I need the second and third lines out of Washington now. We've been hearing these rumors now all day. No confirmation, but in the last hour, Where's your second line, Andre? The activity level here at the Pentagon has clearly increased. Well, can they show French government? Holloman, Holloman. Baghdad is better Baghdad right now, David. Uh, officials are clearly gearing up. Baghdad back on the road. Wrap it now, boy. Here we go. We got Holloman in Baghdad again. Now, we don't have any response from the ladder right now. Track it. Track it. To them. Okay, Go ahead, John, I'm recording. Go ahead. I can hear you and can record. Go. Please uh, come in to us from Baghdad. This is David French in Washington. Go ahead, Baghdad. Right, we've uh, lost that for a moment. Go, Back to the quiet, quiet, quiet now. We'll see where there, there. Go to him. Kill, kill his mic. Will you kill Washington? Hello, Atlanta. Tell him to go Atlanta, ahead. Mr. Holloman, I don't know whether you're, you're able to hear me now or not. Stay live on this, to please. I'm going to you as long as I can. Right, the right, right, no. Baghdad has been uh, just uh, filled up with uh, okay. the sound of gunfire here tonight. Ah, Shut up, Blitzer. Let me see. Let me see French. Don't you hear air down there? Don't you hear? Hear what's on the air, folks? They're not getting IFB in Washington. Why is that? You got a problem. You guys are not hearing IFB. Your people are not hearing Parliament. You're not hearing it now? We have some hope that you're able to hear it. 
Well, no, listen, goddammit. Don't dance. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. You hearing this, David? Okay. Well, just keep monitoring this, David. I may need to get in with something. Yeah, uh, I'm a from the sounds of things, yeah. they are not the there. attack, if there okay. is an attack on Baghdad, well, is occurring near Saddam International Airport. We're going back over to the window Scott now Wolf to see what we can see. There have been there. some sirens here tonight, but uh, yeah. we, uh, we still have seen no signs what? of any airplanes coming in here. Secretary Weinberg. What's he doing? Get rid of French! Who the hell told you to open DC? David, come on, let's listen to this. The hell with the interview yeah, for right now. This is what's going on live. Hello? Bernie Tate is back there, Bob. Do you know? Sky is back there. The time here, about the 20 minutes to 3 in the morning. Give that back that map. I'm getting away from the, from the window here now. Open French's mic. Talk to him, David. John Holland, this is David French in Washington. Uh, if you're hearing now, we have been copying uh, all that you said uh, with the activity out near Saddam International Airport. It's our desire to continue with you there as long as you are able. So, John, bring back the sound if you can. It's dead. Blitzer in the meantime. He's dead. Blitzer. It's gone. Right, we're not immediately yes. able to pick up uh, to resume that sound from uh, John Holloman's position, so we will now. Is somebody going to be rolling on that and turn it around? Yes. The map is already in B Control Studio, the big one. 81170. Baghdad map is in the Washington Bureau. Baghdad, right there. That's Baghdad. I don't know what you're telling me. The airport is up north of that and west of 29, calling 60 as well. Baghdad. You got the map in there. Can we shoot it? Maps and be in Camera 11. Can we shoot anywhere? Hi there. Is it possible to call United States, please? Camera 11 in Okay, thank you. No, we don't know. It's uh, we got light. We don't know. There's somebody assigned. Turn these on. He doesn't know he's on. John, you're on here. You can't hear, David. Just talk. I told you I was right and close between two and three, didn't I? They don't know they're on. We got it out of the Voice over, when I tell you we're monitoring it's what is obviously an open line from our folks in Baghdad. Stand by, David. All right. I don't know if we still don't have any idea whether you can hear us. That's Jane Bates. And continue to watch. Uh, they're uh, Just loud shooting up into the night sky. I'm going to leave our microphone in the window on the hope that you're able to hear what we Mark, have here. We're going to try to evacuate our room, but we'll let you listen in. They're on leaving this the room and they're going to put that in there. Did you hear that? Anyway, you got room. Fine, good idea. Great show. Don't, don't say a word yet. Don't say a word yet. Do not, do not open his mic until I tell you. Clear. Clear. Right, listen, I don't listen. I don't know. If you can show me on. 17. Put 17 on the air. That's not live. Get the live out of there. It is live. That's I'm not. Right Give me a live audio. Give me a Baghdad live audio font. We are just tracking the four one. Yeah. Baghdad audio. That's all you need. Just Baghdad audio. Go ahead. Bob, there's a better map up there. On router 10, he's trying to shoot it. On router 10, he's trying to shoot it. Fine, tell me when it's ready. Yes, router 10, tell me when it's ready. I can see your map. 
map that says Baghdad City map so people know what they're looking at. Fine. I'm going to go to Blitzer right now. I'm going to listen to this noise. I need you to take that map and tighten up on the, on the airport. North and west. I would think. I don't know, though. Stay where you are. Don't go anywhere. Listen, Bob is calling this, you guys. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Now, make me up a Baghdad audio. That's it. That's it. Go to Blitzer. David French, take me to Blitzer. Go to French. Back that for a mom. Back that for a mom. Well, that's from, what they're calling uh, for a mom. Back that for a Hotel now being, uh, hotel room now being uh, left. Back that for a mom. Shaw, Peter Arnett, John Harlan, and, and their supporter, support staff there. There is a bomb shelter in that hotel we heard uh, them report earlier today. Back to the Pentagon and Wolf Blitzer. David, all day long we've been hearing rumors that all attack will start at night, Baghdad time. That Why the is Peter yelling at them? Would try to take advantage Danny, of the Danny, Danny, Peter yelling at them, Danny, especially Tell with the French radar of their stealth fighters. If he hears if something else, he's saying bad dad, come on. Audio is back. This is the Bruce audio. It's so tough with them. It goes down the air, Margaret. We got Holloman back there. We got Holloman. Holloman. Go to 17. The shooting has stopped temporarily. Go to Alan, give me the holiday graphic. Put it in. You got it, Put the live bug in. Uh, Bob, you got a much better map in Washington of Baghdad. It identifies the hotel and the palace. Let's see it. Well, they're not. No signs of any traces. And um, well, I'm coming right to your state. Freeze that shot, will you please, Dan? Freeze the shot on the airport and leave it. I want to use your map shot. Type up a top left downtown Baghdad. I don't know if we'll use it or not. Type it up. Put the map on fiber two. No, we'll use the bug later. Just have it written. Not live. Just downtown Baghdad, top left. I don't know if we'll use it. Now give me a Baghdad audio with the red line and the live on, on 16. Yes. Guys, what's the word? Any chance to get the tangle up? All right, fine. Get rid of the live in that fine. Baghdad audio. Driving enemies, not there. No, not that live. The live word. Trying to get who? JJ, we are available. Go ahead. Tell DC to hold the map still, please. If you got a map down there, you can show me of a mon of a downtown Baghdad, Washington D.C. You don't have one. I told you got one there. Go ahead and go to the map and put the right on On the city of Baghdad, continue. Well, everybody's dead. We're all alive now. We're not going to go to programming. Oh, once again. Yes, go ahead. Put it in. In. I don't know yet, John. Charles Z. Weed, you copy. Scott Wolf will tell me when Charles those pieces is ready. Do you want a dad yeah, downtown Baghdad top left? I don't know what that is. What's he got to say? The script for the two that I have so far are right under Charlie there. I'm getting for getting you more now. These are packages. Oh, yes, I know. I asked right. for them. They are. Can we have a downtown Somebody, Baghdad? Somebody, have the Daron Minder. Have the Daron Minder get on the Daron. Give me a top Daron. left downtown Baghdad. Yes. Hold on. Margaret, speak. Margaret, speak. David um, French, get what the can he give us? Be ready to be interrupted. They go back to Baghdad. Go ahead, on. Go ahead and do it now. Sounds of Baghdad for a moment, or perhaps we can have them lightly in the background as we go to the White House and go ahead to him on camera. Your perspective there. Hold David on, let me talk to Fernand. Put the live the White House in. Reporters were standing outside White House spokesman Marlon Fitzwater's on. office, watching the television right. as those reports came across. Come on, can't add anything. We want them to talk to the thumbs for a while. Not, to the well, reports I'm all right right now. All right, and John, Mr. Fitzwater. Was I really like to hear what we're hearing. Are we hear nothing in Saudi? The same report. Hold on, what? From his office a few minutes later, heading for the. Have you got the big live font disc in here with everything made up? All, All the live fonts that were made up for war, are they in? As soon as I can. 
We have you had hear that no in with the president even watching no us. Why is it as yet underway? Think we might no have something yeah, fine, I tell them we're here. not. As to just what it this is, is official. Is Joint Information in Bureau and Dalron, they point. have David, no confirmation, no official right information, information on an attack. Well, thank you, Charles. Can you go back to that's Wolf, that's Dr. Miller, Dr. the Joint Information Bureau. Wolf. David, all day long there have been indications as well that the U.S. Air Force... Joint Information Bureau, write this down, Dan. Joint Information Bureau in Duran has nothing official from the Defense Department. Is that the French? ...game plan because it's now Thursday morning in Baghdad. And because of Muslim sensitivities, there was a reluctance to begin this war on Friday, which is the uh, holy... Uh, John Holloman for nod. John Holloman for nod. Can you talk to me? Hi, Bernard Holloman here. Let's talk. Okay, we're going to come to you right now. Here at the Pentagon. French now to Holloman. I'll tell you all about it. We've had an attack here. I guess you know that. Tell him we did our shit. Tell him we still hear John Holloman in Baghdad, and we'll go listen in. He can't hear me, but we can hear him. Yes, he can. He can hear you. All right, we're told he can. David, a miracle has happened. We're now able to hear you as well. My colleague Peter Arnett and I are here. Close French's mic. Dead Your mic's Bureau. dead. I'll call for you when I need you. I'm going to turn the microphone on uh, continuous transmit for a minute. Peter and I are going to go down. to the window away, where there has been an attack here in Baghdad right. in the past. All right. Zwee's doing an affiliate thing in two minutes. We're we rolling that tape. You want to turn it around? Where is the affiliate? It's Iran. He's doing a new source. I would say roll on every appropriate at some point. Make sure we roll on Zwee. He's doing an affiliate thing. You might want to turn it around. And then we need Jake on as soon as possible afterwards. All right? Remarkable night, Peter. Let's let's uh, tell our viewers. Peter Arnett, we've, 17. We've got a lot of experience. We've got Arnett coming up. Where's Arnett? Of course, from the years in Vietnam and other places. Where's the Arnett graphic? Don't argue with me, Andre. Please go to it. Go to it. Go to it. Around the government buildings erupted in fire. Somebody's obviously doing 200 guns firing into the sky. Uh, we did not see any aircraft around, but we did hear the alarm sirens. I'm going to need a Jake all live on out of Saudi Arabia coming up. Who's on with Miller? These are the possible places we've got to go, Dave. We've got to go back and up. We've got to go back tomorrow. What's going on in that side? I'm going to have Charles Jaco coming up out of Saudi Arabia. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go inside. I want to stay with Baghdad as long as I can. Steve, don't shout at the phone, Doc, because I can barely hear Margaret. She's got something I need to hear. No, that's all right. We were talking about before this attack began on the... The main drag of Baghdad, we just saw one vehicle go by. There was Do a it. bus that went by about 10 minutes ago. Um, the skies here I, I can't see your picture yet. I want to see a picture from Dharan first, ago, Penny. Just before we make sure, hey, listen. Uh, right now, no, I mean, where the uh, hold on. Before, just make sure What's it, way back? I know what that thing is in route or six. Is there an Iraqi forces by by Randall and a U.S. air power by Lamont in there? Tell me we're in here. Yes, no, maybe. The Allied attack on Iraq. Both of them? Okay, thank you. Those are Randall are ready to go. Package. Ready to go. He's hurting me, okay? I really don't need to hear that. Is Bernie all right? Yes, yes. Same thing. Can you listen to that? Who knows? Was it Peter with him? I'm going to open your mic, and I want you. To, I'm going to open your mic, and I want you to ask you listen, everybody. The C the CNN listen, crew is all right, Andy, okay, David. Have Doug call in on 12:01. Your mic's open. That's Don't our new beeper line, and we'll ways. have him on standby. Doug J, he doesn't have anything to offer right now. Now would be an appropriate time to interrupt. He's going to interrupt. Peter, for the, uh, for the force talk to, to begin Scott Wolf for now. Peter Arnett. Pause, Peter. Come, John. That's Pe right, Peter. I think would be John Holloman, can you pause? To, uh, as soon as he's done, we're going to see Jake just a moment. Uh, we have our CNN colleagues, of course, all over the world. Perhaps, David French, um, some of our colleagues right, in, uh, in other important. locations around the world may be able to tell us as much about uh, what they know what? about this potential shit, attack as we can tell looking out our window. Let us hear from you for a moment. Well, John, let me ask you first, if all of our crew there, uh, you and, uh, right. and, and, and all are well, uh, is everything wow. all right with you aside from what's going on outside? What? Mod points out when Holland's talking, if you try to talk sure his ear, he can't hear you. He can only we've listen or hear at the same time. He can only talk or listen. Uh, you need to talk to them. I've got Dan on the phone since they don't have anything. I can see we have there. He doesn't know anything about maps. 
Has somebody gotten a hold of Hurley? Hey, you're making the calls, right? Report. All right, he's got a full report. I know, but this is where it's happening, all right? I know. Where? Yeah, stop, Steve. Jim Miller, I got you. Stand by. Jake was on the standby. Go ahead, Steve. That was a large sure, airburst that so we saw. It was a thrilling this time. Jesus Christ. Why? All right, it'll be 40 minutes before we see Israel. Do they have anything we need to get people from them? Is James calling again? Center of the city. Is we James calling again? Well, we'll be live, Scott. but we need to turn that around. James do not, not alarm the public. If it James goes out, the communications obviously are going to be broken. That doesn't necessarily mean anybody's alarm. We're about three miles from where the center of action at this point seems to be. Now, we're about three miles from where the center of action at this point seems to be. I need a cup of black coffee with an equal place if there's any for an EA out there. I'll get it. I'll take black. Make that two. CD, obviously we're sticking with Bang. Keep gathering information for it. I got Miller on the other line. Jim Miller on the other You're hearing air. Jimmy, you can hear our net. Stay on with you. Stay by me. Stay on with you. Jayco, you can hear our net and Holloman, right? John, we do still hear you. Talk to me, Steve. What do you got? We do hear you. I think he's out. Is he out? All right, thank you. Uh, All right, he's you back. Know, when you see your main communication link, Charlie, one of world, these is Israel. Uh, it's a, you have to keep checking yeah. in. Is this Israel? Sure he's not we'll the window, so Hold on. I'm sorry, they have 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 switched a, to you. Where's right, Israel? I got a drop. Hello? Hello? You know Why Stone Beeper will be available. You have a Why Stone Beeper available. Yeah, you tell them. They don't seem to know that. 1201 would be good. Stand by Blystone on 1201, Scott. Okay. That makes sense to me anywhere. No, stay on this. No, everybody. I know. Why does he got to lock? They control this. Okay, fine. Yeah, go get me my notebook. Okay. Dick, are you there? Okay, hang on just a second. Obviously, we're staying with Baghdad for a while. Not yet. I need the graphics list, please. I'm going to punch you in so you can talk. Uh, it's Biello. Mark Biello. Kathy? Mark Biello talking. Mark Biello. Have you got a color? Let me see Rider 13 and preset. All right, thank you. No, I don't want it. I'm not in the New White House. Secure and stand by to start your clock for a two minute warning. Back now. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting to watch from a reporter's now. point of view. We might, uh, we might go over to the other side Save of the building. Jim Miller, be aware of water in the briefing room here soon. Do you want to run over to the other side or uh, and just come back and give me a report to you? We should be over there or over here. You know, I'm just going to go over to the CD, I don't know if we're going to go to Fitzwater. We've seen great shit out of Bang out of it. just have to feed it to you here. Yes, Jimmy. Major explosion. One near the major telecommunication center. Another one. Um, What's uh, that? At a location that's not that major communication center, but somewhere else in that Thank you, Jay Maxwell. We don't know what uh, might have been where Steve. that bomb hit. But it's Steve wants to do something bomb. for Canada. I think this is the time when we got to tell news source that I'm um, sorry, guys. I mean, you guys make the call out there. 
You got your Fitzwater funds ready to go. Jim Miller? Yeah. Well, David, that's Bob. That's Bob. Somebody has got to call engineering. I'm hearing myself on the air when I talk on the McCurdy. We don't hear you over here, Bob. Huh? You don't? We haven't seen any hits on any aircraft. Testing, one, two, three. You don't hear me on the air? They're not coming in. You hear them back here. They're bombing, obviously. Yes, they cannot hear me while their mics are on. Bob, you're going to need to find the aircraft. Bob, you're going to need to find the aircraft. You don't have any of those. You continue to take the Baghdad line while we go to the White House, and you're not missing anything. Well, we, we do we do something for Fitzwater. Fitzwater. While we're in Fitzwater, yes. They were supposedly doing that. Dan, are you getting the maps up in Washington and downtown Baghdad? You've got the best map that exists there. John, we're going to the White House for just a minute. The presidential spokesman, Marlon Fitzwater, is about to address right, the nation listen, and therefore the world. He's uh, on the preparing now to uh, appear at the uh, White House press room, and we're there for him. And uh, we'll be right back to you as soon as we can. I really don't want CD to lose IFA. You can see the reporters uh, gathered, uh, some yes. prepared to go live. Uh, and Marlon Fitzwater is about to... I'm not worried about reporter fonts, but we can give it a try. With his here he comes, here he comes. Pick up the DCPL. Here he comes. Stand by, stand by, David. Have Sergeant Bernard. If he can this is cut ill. Ed Turner wants those maps that you guys have fired up. He just told me to tell you guys. The liberation right. of Canadian has begun. The elimination, is that what he said? The liberation of Canadian affiliates. I don't want to lose that. I have been in the that code name. Operation so Desert Storm to enforce the mandate of the United Nations Security Council. Get graphics Council. made up with the word Desert As Storm. As a of the report, Eastern Standard Time, That's what you can Operation get Desert Storm is engaging storm. targets in Kuwait and Iraq. <laughs> President right, Bush will address the nation at 9 o'clock p.m. tonight. Blue waters, we're getting out. Well, we're, we're trying, trying to get you water standing out here. Thank you very much. Prior, yeah. That's it, he's gone. Go back to Baghdad. Well, he doesn't know that. Coming back to you. Coming back to you, John. Amon's ready to go. What? Now at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going back to the wire that we have. Not right now, Dan. Thank you. Don't talk, Mark. We're going back to Baghdad. Don't talk on the floor wire. I'm not on CNN staffers. Well, it's official now. Okay, Peter, we're back. Yes, yes, John. It's clear now that even in the darkness, the black smoke is black from the city, from Nobody else has what we have right great. now, and that's Baghdad. I'm not going to White House, I'm not going to Jayco. Stay here with us. No, 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 no. Give me a font that's got live line, that's got Baghdad audio, and got downtown Baghdad upper left, all in one. Put it in over the map that's in the router 10. Go! Do it! Put it on the air! Now, let me see in graphics. 81, 827. Go ahead and mix it in. Go to it. Let me see on the other side. 81, 145. Leave the font in there, please. At least the live line. Thank you. We're not going to that. You're right. Lose the font, Andre. You made the right call. 
Barnett and I were able to hear Rollins Fitzwater's statement announcing that the game. Go to the second map. Very bright flag at a refinery building. It appeared that there were several explosions at once near a refinery. I'm going to guess this refinery is five or so miles away, but there's much activity on the ground. What we are seeing, John. Yes, I know it. Yeah. He can tell us what's going on in the Pentagon right now. Right now, I don't want to leave. No, 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 not at all. Nobody else has it. They're all going with their White House guys. Obviously, they are destroying that particular refinery. One of several around Baghdad, and I think it's a target by the multinational forces. Jim Miller, since he leaded the pool dish, we'll start doing five-minute rotations. It's now Desert Storm. All our traffic is making a very tight method. It's all going to do the things that we want to do. Stay on the way. Let me see 81, 162, and, seven, and uh, 70. 161, 161, somewhere. Not on the air. Yes, that's not it. That's not it. All right, that's not it. Those are the three oil refiners. I think the one in the middle is the Baghdad. Dan, is this a map I'm seeing from you? Fine. Uh, don't take that you one do. in eight. I'm listening to the news right now. The news is coming out of Baghdad, not out of Blitzer Beer Bar, Dan. All right. How much control do you have over this camera? Can you zoom in on uh, the presidential palace and then pan to the Ministry of Communications and then move the camera down to the. See what I'm saying? Make it move. Let me. Let, let me see the move on the air, what it would look like. Go ahead and make the move. And as we uh, continue to look out the window, uh, we hear more reports from... Yeah, you want the four-mile yeah, West, as you would look at a normal map. West, West to the left, east to the right. West, left, just like you look at a regular map, Scott. It's supposed to be Lou. You put Lou out there. It's supposed to be Lou and then Cryer, right? Well, it's Lou and... Yes. Yeah. To keep score on how many of these bombs have come down. The air fire is pretty well stopped. It's pushing and spinning. And uh, you can continue to hear uh, an occasional uh, uh, round go off in the background. Okay, the entire city has now gone black. Right, there were some areas of Baghdad that uh, uh, still had the line. Hold it still. Don't move the map. What is, what is that? Take a look at uh, at uh, 21 at the map. Is that, what does that look like to you? Too That's small to make out anything? That's the main part. Go ahead and put it on the air. Lose the font. Yeah. You don't have to report that. We don't want you guys to report that. Zoom in to the air. Zoom into the airport. Our hotel is in there. Yeah. Very gently. That's what we're going to zoom in. There it is right there. Go to the hotel. Move to the hotel. See where it is, Earl? Right above that nipple thing. Pan right. 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 Keep going in. Keep going in. No, they talked about the television tower. You ought to leave that in. Stay right where you are. Don't move it. Lay the font in. I think they're coming back to David. Get Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Right. Lost Who'd like to go down Jaco. South Back to Friends. Stand by. Jaco is standing by. Jaco stop. Point for what the president has named Operation Desert Storm. Charles Jaco, right. please. Are you going to read out? Charles, can you go, Jake? Go to speak, Jim. Yes, I can. Yes, I can, David. You're on. Charles, we're going to report on your arm. All right, there was a momentary lapse. What the fuck's going on? Is he just lost it? No, he just lost it. Let me just read it from you. It was filed by the Associated Press in the Chicago Tribune. The war with Iraq began early Tuesday morning as a squadron of U.S. fighter bombers took off from the largest U.S. air base in central Saudi Arabia. 
They quote an Air Force Colonel Ray Davies as saying, quote, put my pants on now. You think that'd be all right? That'd be fine. Lou, look at the wires. See what I got to get caught up on, please. Somebody rolling on Jacob? You want to ask me if Bernie's okay? Bernie has disappeared the last, as soon as the bombing started. Is Bernie all right since we haven't seen from him, since, uh, heard from him since the beginning? This evening, we did see... I don't know where he is right now, Bob. He may be uh, you know, on the lower floor of the hotel. He just, he just, All right, he thank you. The best thing to do is to get the floor wire going. He hasn't gone outside the hotel. I'm sure the hotel is intact. Everybody's fine. Thank you. You, you, might you. you might want to talk about who's in the hotel and the conditions there. Don't get out of time. Peter just got burned down on the lower floor. He's okay. On the overhead line, the one that identifies the street hotel. Right now it's on top You guys got to keep it down, okay? I'm fighting a lot of audio from a lot of different sources. Back to Baghdad, where we have John Holloman and the other. There for crossfire. They're willing to go Thank you, David. Thank you. Sorry about that. I have a few here. Okay. Map's great. Map's great. Use the map. Use the map from DC. The map from DC. It's on uh, it's on uh, satellite. Even even if it's I'm looking at it back here on receiver twenty one. There it is on in twelve. Okay. Bob, this airport is not Saddam Hussein Airport, according to Easton. This is a private military airport. Well, it's just so that nobody says that. There was one little explosion that just occurred. Bob, here's an updated list of John, just thinking, What do we tell them? We're looking at a map so he can describe where they are. Deadline on the UN ultimatum. They can't hear us. Uh, uh, you can go and hotel and lose the airport the and the uh, railroad. Authorities seem to be preparing for some kind of action. I, I'm sure they didn't have any kind of advance word. But as I speak to you, the anti-aircraft fire has started up again. And there is another wave of planes presumably coming in. We have yet to see the bomb fall, but it's the same pattern as the previous at least three raids that we have witnessed. John? No idea. The aircraft fire. What router? I want to see the X3. We're looking out to the west, and we see the Tricia bullets going. Genie, it's for nod. Through the south. And, uh... Tell me briefly what you've got to say. The planes might be high, but the tracer bullets are still going up into the sky, and there's no sign of anything coming down from the sky right now, which for those of us in Baghdad is offering some comfort. But uh, we see these bombs come down. Get Jeannie Moe's fonts ready. Possible I'll come to you. Stand by, please. What can you tell us if we go to you? Most 23, I believe. Yes. Big fly stone. He's still there. Go ahead. Lou, what you got for me? Talk to me. Much, except that uh, French forces are in a high state of alert. They know it's begun. I mean, there's nothing on the wire that we haven't reported. We don't have any thoughts on the street now. They only heard one siren from downtown Baghdad. Yeah, Bernard Shaw joins us now. Bernard, voice of Bernard Shaw. Hello, we're here. We both anchored. You always warned me. Don't ever attack go on siren, television. Attack television. Attack siren, attack siren, and I'll give you another moment to catch your breath. Well, yeah, the reason why there. I'm winded is that I've just come from the bomb why? shelter checking on the people here in the hotel. Bernie, I'm not leaving Baghdad. Come on, guys. I don't and care about the bomb and sirens and, and, and uh, yeah. they How does it look down there? Does it look up? Like there's a place of safety if we need down there? Attacked, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, we could have uh, Saudi Arabia yeah, under attack, David, so be, uh, be prepared to get me. This is Scott Wolf in Atlanta. Uh, going about their business uh, in a very orderly manner. Jaco, what are you prepared uh, to no tell me? Say again, I couldn't hear you. Uh, lobby, of course, because that's okay, like we're, we're walking. Shopping around to see what else we have. What can you do for us? David, get me to Jaco quickly. If anything happens, if a bomb goes off near the hotel, have they can't hear you. got to wait for them to pause. Open French's mic. Your mic's open. Wait Alvin. for me. That's our net. So the ordinance Jimmy, that's that's down the attack the side, right? Absolutely. Um, Jim Miller. It's Shaw. Come on. Advance your fonts. Who's listening? 
colleagues in Washington and our colleagues in Saudi Arabia okay. obviously know a lot more than we know, but uh, we are on the receiving end of it. The skies are dark. I got flies to them. CBS is taking us? This is an interesting psychological CBS, huh? Can they do that? There are affiliates. XWAGA. Barbara, you got to talk softly about blew me out of here. He's telling them to get out of here. Interrupt him. Go to French. Get me to Jayco. Stand by. Stand by. Do it! Punch him. Go, Jayco. Go. The air raid sirens are just now going off here near these U.S. bases. Stand by, guys. We're coming back to you. Camera crews inside right now. We're all preparing to put on our gas masks, as we've been told. There are sounds of planes overhead. We don't know whose planes there are. Get him out of there. Sirens are going off insistently. Jayco is on the air now. On both sides of me, we're being told to get off. Get him out of there. Take it away. Go back to Baghdad. Right now, sign off. Training for this, and it looks like we may have. Get go oh, out of there! Oh, oh, shit. He is in any imminent danger. Of course, we can't know that. He does have. Could a you hear that, Miller? Go if you can still hear me. Get, get the fuck out, out of there! If he is going, he is well equipped. I see it, Jim Miller. Get the fuck out of there! Baghdad and our reporter. All right, let's bring him on up. Hotel. Let's bring him on up, Steve. Baghdad, please come here. Hey, Rob. Arnett. Hey, Rob. Zoom in to the hotel now. Zoom in. Go on. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Great ringside view of what's been happening here this evening. The skies have been calm here for the past 10 minutes. Hold it right there. 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 Main telecommunication Go ahead, go into it. Come on, guys. No, that's not what he's talking about. He said the main telecommunication center. He just said this was a yeah, we have to stop. Go through that communication center. Indicate that 9 p.m. Bush in the Oval Office. What else? I just want to add one thing. You got your fun over Al Rashid. Pull out. Pull, pull the map out. Can I say those things? Pull the map out a little, Andre. Why are you talking about the hotel? Can we say that? We are safe here. There has right. not been I'll talk to David. With a mile David. or two of us. We have come distance from uh, important government targets. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I've been to a few of these in the past. I think we're safe enough here for the time being. Within a minute, we can get to a shelter downstairs. I'd like to make one comment. It was said that when the U.S. air attack started, all communications would be completely blanked out. We presumed that. We wouldn't be able to talk to you like this, but that's whatever that, uh, that plan was or whatever that uh, system was, that other people would work because we still have communication with you, John. I'm wondering why the hotel chooses to turn on all these Yeah, just tell them war's begun, be here at 7 in the morning. Yeah, that's what they want. 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 You guys just keep setting everybody up. We're not leaving Baghdad. You guys have everybody ready to go when we need them. I see I commented earlier that I think these planes are flying very high. It's basically strategic bombing. All right, I tell you what, let's mix it up and start using 17 and 18 with these guys' pictures, all right? That's our net. And just put the live bug That's in our with net. it. Put the live bug in there. Holloman? You got Bernie ready if we need it? A, a Bernie graphic if we need it? That's Bernie. 
John Sweeney from Riyadh on 1204. Yeah, he's not on there yet. There are full screens to match all of them. You can develop to him. They've got a list. We can get out and see what's going on. My checklist. Pause the bus and we'll get to the bus and we'll get to the bus. Remind the audience of what you're asking. Oh, we just got to get out of here. Can you hear from the audience? It's 325. Okay. I'm going to bring you in. Now, get up. You know, the American people are going to be able to play that. That's just going to find out what they're going to be. We don't know what they are yet. I have a feeling. That, uh, when dawn breaks, you got, you got Riyadh, the they're ready to go. We're going to have a whole different level of, of feeling and potential respect for the uh, Riyadh's ready on beat for Let's check right. in with Atlanta just for a moment. John Sweeney in Riyadh. Sweeney in Riyadh. Sweeney beat for Riyadh. Going to Sweeney in Riyadh. I don't care what you used to get there. Where's the Riyadh map? Beat for zero. I know. I just want to be able to see everybody. Give me a 2962. 2962. With, uh, uh, Joint Chiefs man, it's on Beeper Zero. You got to put it to air now. Yeah, he's ready. I'll report from Riyadh, where our John Sweeney is uh, is waiting. Please come in. Please come in. In Riyadh, the official uh, military right, go. Uh, next go. Mr. Richard Blystone. Twenty six one eighty six. Blystone's next. Put him on the standby. You you look at fonts for me, all right? You got it. They're still going off at this time. We have no Put the live in, yes. Flystone yeah. yeah. Live will be next, you guys. We can report that the air raid sirens are going off. But the military, as I say, has been silent about two hours ago. Uh, they control. We heard uh, a huge noise, and it, it was confirmed that four KC-135 super tankers had left the air base. Yeah, this is Alec. I'm with Bernard. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to go to talking head when I got people out with the war I don't have a phone. Okay. Okay. So I need all these people, Dan. You got to do it. Which presumably could be your reporters. Is he ready? Going. Standing by. He is. He's ready. I don't know. Let me get with Bernard. You got him. You're right. Being taken to shelter. Richard Blystone. Go to the split. Now. Richard. Go. Richard Blystone is uh, standing by in Jerusalem. Probably a little difficult to hear. Richard, please come in. I hear you fine, David. Uh, All right. Do you want Blackwell, the military guy, ready in Washington? Yes. No, I'm going back to Baghdad. All right, this is I'm Peter sorry. Kendall. When do you? I don't, I'll want him at some point, but not now. Have everybody ready to go to air at any moment. That's after Bush. Bush is at nine. There is no sign, whatever, that Iraq has. Make sure they know after after Bush at nine comes Cheney. Okay. If war breaks out, it will be Israel's and/or partners against Israel. As I ran down here about a half an hour ago from uh, Mo's standby, but I want you to be real brief. Uh, David, get me to Jeannie Mo's uh, at the UN next. Police cars with blue lights real flashing. quick, because you're right. The Nobody has that. No, is. Uh, Look up there. Nobody's got any of them. I know, they're talking heads. Give him a rap. Give him a rap. Rap it. I'm saying they don't have it now. So I don't want to stay away from them. You're going to UN, Jeannie Mose. Of course, we want to know too. We're going to New York at the UN where Jeannie Mose is standing by and has been. got the split. Be brief. Jeannie. The uh, Secretary General of the United Nations. I'm on to Baghdad. I'm on to Baghdad. Right now, watching TV. Hi, Mom. Nice to hear your voice. Hey, darling. How are you guys holding up? Wait a minute. What? We're doing great. What? So all the lights have gone out in Baghdad now. We should probably report that as soon as we can. Atlanta, you listening? No. He's talking. John, I'm coming to you. Don't go away. Stay close to me, please. I need to be talking by an IFB 19. Please don't compete with me. David back there. You bet, Tom. We're happy to serve. Coming back to you, John. Coming back. Um, Sorry, Bob. Did you hear him? No, why? He's got something to report. Holloman has something to report. Okay. Stand by, John. Okay. Thank you, Jeannie Mosa. The United Nations, the place for going to Holloman, Baghdad. Get the little live bug in when you do. Put the bug in now and leave it in. Don't take it out. The live bug. 
Something has changed, David. Put the light, leave the light, the light bugging over French, now, too. From everything we can tell, my colleague Bernie Shaw is with me as we look out. Get ready for Bernie's picture, please, in 18. And even though it's pitch black, for some curious reason, the emergency lights are working here. On the second Washington line, let me see beer. That's Bernie. smoke. the second Washington line, let me see beer. There's a light out there. Yeah, there's a pallet of smoke over the whole city, Bernie. That's Holloman. Several explosions, pretty big explosions, maybe five or ten miles away. you've got a monitor air. A little bit earlier this evening yeah, in the attack, and it, uh, there's, there's been a lot of smoke from that. Doug. And also, don't forget that Doug, uh, early Alex, morning fog that we were talking about early this morning, it's about the time for that fog to begin to roll in again. So, well, I know the people here in the room are praying for fog. It was very thick. Our charter could come in yesterday morning, and I know they must be praying for fog. I want to go back to a description. When this first happened, when this first upon us, uh, I was trying to come up on the air and so that we did get out. Uh, Nobody's got that. To describe for you, ladies and gentlemen, what that looked like against a uh, canopy of a black sky. It was like the fireworks finale on the 4th of July at the base of the Washington Monument. Peter, you're chuckling, but that to me is not an example. You go to beer bar to White House. You made a comment a little earlier about the fog. I don't think the fog is going to help back that. You mentioned earlier. In the news These American planes no, are we can't talk to him right now. I think a mine can survive. Uh, uh, a mine can survive. Uh, 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 I want to say for a to bear about to make sure nobody's out of there. I'll try and talk to him in the information, which I'll give you later. Well, I can tell him to cut it off if you want them to cut it off. I'm going to do it in the United States to sell at a time certain. So we appreciate it. Who's Blystone talking to? You, Atlanta. He said, I need you to kill the speaker out there from Baghdad. Kill the speaker from Baghdad and Mike. Put me on your mic. Just for a few minutes. Put me on your mic. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn it down just a little bit. Quiet. What does Blystone have? I don't understand, Bob. Kill your speaker on Baghdad and Curdy. Ed wants to talk to them when they get off and he doesn't want to talk to the news. What line? What line? What line? Dick. I don't know that there's a way of doing that. Just turn the speaker down on the McCurdy. Fine. I see. No, stand by, Penny. Penny, you can talk. I don't give a shit. We're not going to Oman yet. Let's solve this problem in Jerusalem. Find out what phone they dial into. As far down as I can. Understood. Is that line established? Will you please go back to the. Uh, 81, 145. I know that. I got him. Don't worry about names. Okay, Dick. Dick. Go ahead. Dick. This is Thank you. Listen. Listen. As you can imagine, it's a little hectic. Try to, try to get another line through. Do you have anything to offer? We have a sheet of paper. I'm looking at you, Charles. Keep it brief, okay? Spend as much time as I can. I'm listening to you when I can. I can't have my open all our time. It's a little hectic. Try to, try to get another line through. Do you have anything to offer? We have a sheet of paper. I'm looking at you, Charles. Keep it brief, okay? Much time I'm listening to you when I can. I can't have my phone all the time. Is that right? Ten. I've been I've been more than an hour. What is James Bond doing? Nothing. Damage assessment, but the sky is an As soon as they stop down. again, you go to and French and then to beer bar. Very soon, we should check back with our colleagues and see what else they can tell us about what's going on. Before we get away from Baghdad, I just want to say, if you just joined us here in any way in the world, we are reporting Please. on the Penny. third. Was it the third I've wave? Got uh, Peter, you probably four or five. Off. We are <laughs> we are reporting on the fourth uh, or fifth wave of bombing runs. And say again on the Royal Palace. The ground of what has he got to say? Ask, I'm asking right now. Doug, this is Alex. Say again on the Royal Palace, Peter. From Saudi Arabia that Doug, I'm still hearing Tony. They know it down to control. Well, the Royal Palace is what he's got. But it has been just yes. quiet here for about uh, 20 minutes. Okay, this is where your audio's on 6.2. We are. That's why they're going to go back to the Atlanta now, just in case our colleagues on the network have more information for you. I don't care for that. 
Okay, I'm standby at this John point. John Holloman at Dr. the Dr. Hotel in Baghdad. Of course, we'll be back. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. We're happy to see uh, this. Baghdad, this is uh, uh, two, two messages message for you. One, the highest possible source of the State Department advises under no circumstances should you go to any military installation, particularly airports. Number two, the reporting of the eyewitness transpired so accurately that the time is CIA is amazed and appalled, and it could lead to a direct attack on the hotel. Please be less specific. They are beginning a sense of justice. Do not use the Riyadh map again or the Baghdad map showing the hotel. Get back to the 81827. Okay. Okay. Specific about the direction of east, west, and so forth. Have, 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 uh, have friends get me to Blystone. Tell Blystone to keep it brief. Friends to Blystone in Jerusalem. Blystone next. Wrap it. Blystone next. I see. All right. Well, good. The reason we've been here for a long time, and we put maps up so we'd be right on this, Ed. What's your advice? Your advice, not the government. As best you can, be a little more general. That it's to the east, it's to the west, it's several miles away. That sort of thing. Control, this is supervisor. Anybody listening? Dave, just as a point of interest, no map. No map that shows the hotel on the air. You hear me? The CIA. I think they're they're very lucky to have us target spotting for them. Listen to the radio. They've got all ready to target. Come on. We're saying what they're going to do. We're just hitting, but it's not. Stand James by. I can't. I can't get I. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. 19, 19. Go, I gotta go back to this right here. Stand by. Go back to Baghdad. Stand by, please. Yeah. To break up their gas mask what? Kits and have Doug them James. Nearby. We're going back now yeah. to Baghdad. Come on, come on. Do you hear me? Doug, do you hear me? Baghdad maps, folks. There we go. Yes, Bernard Peter. Shaw, Stand Bernard 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 Bernard. What I have It's burning. I'm just crunching down here. Use what's in 17. They did not hear All right, we're going to have to punch us through on the floor. If we punch through on the floor. Penny. But you wouldn't know that there's life outside these windows. Penny. We no longer see Penny. tracer bullets. Listen up, everybody. We can tell oh, that the there are fires off in the distance. Fine. We're it is eerily speaking. quiet right now. Alex, uh, there's a very cool breeze blowing through the window here, and uh, we are sweating in more ways than one. Uh, Peter, Barnett is here, John Holman is here. Uh, you know what occurred to me? I didn't get that in the night. I'm going to lose, we're going to lose this phone here in the next race. We're going to transfer. We have, uh, we have put in stores of supplies for a little bit of fish and crackers and lots and lots of water. Now it says this is going to be a short war as uh, experts What's the, the map that B Control showed you? Is that too busy? It probably is, isn't it? Is it too busy? Yeah, that's the map of the whole. Oh, Penny, stand by. Because I had a very difficult time. That's Holloman, guys. We have in-house already. Just stay on the map, please. MOS reaction. Don't even try and do those. MOS reaction to war we have in-house. Well, when it's cut, let me know. All right. Well, I've got to go. Hold on, guys. There was a major drill in Baghdad. Next time, there's a major drill. 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 Now, let me tell you right now that if you're not assigned to this hour, your production or operations and the person who's assigned this hour is here, get out. I need you rested for tomorrow. If you're scheduled for now, be here. Charlie, you're here. I'm gone. my hour tomorrow. Go get some rest. Bye. Suzanne Spurgeon. Spurgeon, where's Spurgeon? Can Spurgeon get in here, please? Is this her arm? Spurgeon's hour is, no, it's, uh, Spurgeon is at 8 o'clock. We've got her. Steve, uh, I don't give a shit about right now, now it is, uh, Natalia. Natalia Ferguson, yes, you have Natalia Ferguson, and you have, uh, no, you have Natalia, and you have Rita Gold. Somebody get a McCure war book. stay here. McCure stay here. Did they get a war book and get a, a you're, you're, you're generally the 8 o'clock war producer, right? Yeah. 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 At 8 o'clock, come on in. We'll be ready to relieve her at 8.
Yeah, I think, I think that's right. I need a staffing if, list. If, uh, I tell you what, you have got in six. Reporting from the Al Rashid Hotel in Baghdad, where Operation Desert Storm has struck. Blitzer, Blitzer next, Blitzer next, Blitzer next. Forces. And uh, for that uh, update, we'll go down to the Pentagon and Wolf Blitzer. Nice, man. David, Pentagon officials say it should, it should, it should have come as no surprise that this attack started tonight. They say that the United States wanted to start the attack at night. There are specific targets no, for almost five and a half months. The United States has outlined what, virtually every strategic out? target in Iraq and Duncan, occupied Alex, Kuwait. Yes. The U.S. airstrike well, is almost certainly designed to begin with the to stealth that? fighters, the F-15s, the F-16s, as well as the I don't Taliban have Holloman yet. Cruise Ask him if he's there. Ask the Holloman if he's there. John, before you come back on, are you there? As well as the yeah, we're here. Wisconsin the advice from Washington is do not leave right where you are. Remain the there. Nine o'clock Eastern time. Both uh, defensive we like to explain. Ask if well it's starting up, start up again. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff will come here. Is it starting up again, John? Yes. yes sir, Let's go back to him. Coming back to you. Get ready. Back to Baghdad. Listen to me in graphics. Going We're back to Baghdad. Get the map on the left. As soon as we clear the split, get hollow thing up in 18 when we clear the split. As soon as we uh, were uh, confident that the skies were going to stay dark for a while. You got him in 18 if you want and, uh, that. I can't hear uh, air. You got that up too loud, Charlie, please. To the west of the people back there. And uh, we don't know how far please to the west. But, uh, use the map that's in preset. Just keep the live bug in it. Some of the sounds of these explosions just for a moment, or at least the air aircraft fire. All right. It's going with us. It's like a rumble, almost like an earthquake sort of a sound. Uh, a giant I'm diesel engine no, rubbing up off to the west of our set, position. The guys are filled with tracers. Bernie Shaw. Hold on. I'm going to let our viewers hear what's happening. Yeah, okay. We're going to let you listen to the anti aircraft fire and the sound of these bombs falling here in Baghdad. It doesn't work for this, but thank you. Yes. Is he ready? The intensity of the uh, Iraqi anti-aircraft fire is not as great as it was. Why don't you, you rehearse it? We'll take five minutes of rehearsing it, all right? The lead, John, is that there doesn't seem to be any surface to air missiles going up. Now, whether these were knocked out in early strikes, I don't know, but, uh, but the uh, Iraqis do have several hundred SAMs that are capable of knocking down huh? any aircraft up there. Thank you. Maybe the Iraqis could be holding their SAMs uh, in advance. We got to find the Saudi map. Yes. I can't hear you. Is he ready? Do you, you need to rehearse it? What, that's all right, fine. Um, tell, tell French that's the next place he goes, all right? Thank you. Listen, we drop a lot of bring Washington takes and it's French to black. Yeah, we're doing well, that big guy. We're going to have phone contact with Darren. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Dick, you got something? Dick, what do you got? Talk to me. All right, we're back down to the heavy standby. Jesus, there's something coming in. This is 740. Jim Miller on the show line, you Bob 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 Make up a font that says Jim Hickey, full correspondent, 
to the outskirts of the encounter. Your locator is Saudi Arabia. Several planes came right over the hotel. It would be a beeper. We do it over a map. Did anybody see the other side of the hotel? Hold on. Checking out the other side of the hotel. And it's equally intense on the other side. And clearly, this is the most intense exchange we've had so far. And that was really targeted. Where is it? It's a rumor. 20 miles away, he was going to head down. No, 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 Right now, it seems that they're all coming at Baghdad, but of course they're not. We don't know about targets um, anywhere else in the uh, Iraq or in Kuwait. 15, 15. We are limited here to looking four? out our window and oh. trying to interpret the sky in the flashes in the sky. John, right, Iraq, you can monitor that over there, Charles. Receiver four. 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 Receiver an attack sometime in the near future, but they didn't uh, I don't think the government people anticipated it would come this quickly. Is that an airbase? Saudi airbase for the locator on Hickey. Yeah, I just come back from the other side. I'm really wearing out trousers here, crawling on my knees and hands, but it occurred to me that, uh, gentlemen, does it occur to you that it is not accidental that we are still reporting to the world? It may not be, but I'm sure the Iraqis are the back I'm sure the Americans I need a blitzer TikTok. When did the attack begin? What came down? Uh, what planes went in first? Is that what uh, Blackwell's going to do? Word. All right. Put out. Fine. This government has a right, fine. Fine. Well, 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 you want to tell Master Control that I'm trying. You going to Blackwell? Old. The President of the United States is going to uh, address the nation at nine o'clock, right? and we'll be hearing from the folks at the Pentagon right after that. Our colleague James Blackwell from the Center for uh, Strategic and International Studies is now with us to talk a bit about the. Uh, the logistics of what is happening on the okay, battlefield. Mr. Blackwell. David, uh, Steve, stand uh, by. the pattern of the bombing, as has been reported yeah, by here. Bernard Shaw and John Holloman, and the captain is uh, uh, serving as quite excellent scouts. Want. They're doing a heroic effort. I'd want to have them in my cavalry unit any day, the way they're going right now. Indicates to me a pattern. While it's far too early to judge Are you talk from, to him? from here what's uh, going on from the rest When you of guys the need to go back on, you yell at me, yes. A pattern of strategic bombing. Okay, Bob, we'll take a break, have a twig or two of water here, and clear our palate. We'll let you know. No, don't break. You go when I tell you to go. Amon's not ready yet. I heard you, Dan. I heard you. Are being struck at the same time. Mom's not ready. I'll have him ready in a second. Said that, tell me when uh, I can talk to him. Tell me when I can talk to him. Are you going to go into the, the map? Or are just are you going to go into the map or are we going to stay live the whole wide the whole time? Peter. I doubt there will be a pause to allow us to Tell me when I can talk to him. I think uh, this exhibits a pattern of a very serious war. Let's go to French and French get the beer bar. Go to beer bar at the White House. Can I talk to him? You got it. You got it. You got it. Don't worry. They got to make the switch in DC. I know. But is he ready to listen to me? You have a card or anything? You don't have any way to do it. And uh, you can't, can't put their guard down. Uh, uh, no no the Let's go not that that dog. That dog. I mean, it's literally give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Stand by. I want to come for a minute for that information. Who? Who? Dump James. On IFB. He's in a mod. He's on the air. Don't worry about it. Is he in air? Yeah. No, he's in two. He's in four drives. Dump James. He's in a mod. Indicative of this kind of approach by the president is that this has been a process that is building. Mr. Fitzwater said decisions have been made in the the decision to launch the attack today. Indeed, uh, the spokesman says that the president has had five and a half months to prepare for this. Richard.
I have V19 and I hear it here. Here. Doug 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 That's yeah. because Doug James oh, is on his this is Doug James reporting live from the Mount Jordan. Okay, I just had a report from the crew in the corner of the Mount Jordan. The reports that he believes, believes that coming into that town now are missiles, that is a large Saturday order that you're picking up making them. Now it's your time to Baghdad, you have three reporters in the hour of shooting hotel. Steve, stand by. Rob is ready, he doesn't have much to offer. Okay, David, John, I'm sorry. Put this back on. Have been watching Channel 5. <coughs> yes. Right. Go to Blitzer when you have an opportunity. We'll acknowledge that, David. Thank you. No, nope, we're not going to take it away. Well, this is now low. No, we went. Jesus. Wouldn't you? That's right. Keep, yeah, keep that CNN bug in the whole time. Look what Channel 5 did. They just resigned. They'll all be up there. Yes, in Duran. Yes. That's a word only. It's an alert only. Meaning what? That they could be in danger of attack. Not that they're in danger. What did Jim Hickey tell you That's on the phone? Hickey said. All Hickey said he had an alert. What is French? That could have been filed. That's Nobody filed. That looked like yeah. Libya Our rotation on this burner comes at 8.03. We don't know if our correspondent's there. Guy on the Iran burn. Ted Lyons. Out of the southwest. Iran. 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 Discounted. I don't, I don't, I don't feel badly burning. I'm talking long run. I'd say where he is until he's on the air because he doesn't want the other reporters to figure it out. That's why I got excluded by it. No sign of any um, uh, any connection between the anti aircraft right fire now. on the ground and the sky. And try and bring you back up. And I know satellites is working with the press conference to try and get you guys back up. Baghdad, you still with us? All the crews left the camera platform here. Coming up. The power was cut. Everyone was fine. Did Blitzer Chris Jango? He's on my feet up. Charlie. What's he got? He's leaving. It sounds like he's leaving. He's got a narrow tail. He's got a narrow tail. He's got a narrow tail. Listen, do you hear me? Oh, yes. Yes. Stand by. Stand by. Get me to Jayco right now. Interrupt them. Interrupt this and get me to Jayco in, in Saudi Arabia. Go. Interrupting the gentleman. Don't worry about French. Fuck French. Put the live locator. Clear the area. The last time it was a drill. This time gentlemen, sure gentlemen, 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 we're on Duran right now. Gentlemen, we're on Duran right now. I can't hear you. So you shut the door. Right now, the only information we have that's up there is the Saudi military. I've tried to talk. What's that? 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 What's
reporting from Iran. Looks like video. This may be it. Looks like video from ABC. Got video. Saudi military says the Iranian military has been attacked. Look at ABC right now. That was maybe a picture. Yeah, that was maybe a picture. Saudi military says look at ABC right now. That was maybe a picture. Charles Jacob CNN reporting live. Where's he going? He doesn't know. Back to Baghdad. All right, Charles, we hear those precautionary sirens in the back. Stand by. Let's return now to Baghdad. I'll remind you that at the hour, we have an eyewitness view. Get to it. The Iraqi aircraft fighters in the sky. Uh, we have what? seen no uh, dog fights that could uh, resemble anything like that. It looks like the uh, Iraqi Air Force has not been able to get in the sky tonight. Maybe they were one of the first targets hit, Bernie. You were just here to paint the picture for you where we are physically right now. We are in the hall on the floor, and we can look through open here for more of them. So let us uh, let some of them talk for a little while as we wait for the next wave of attacks. That we'll do our best to bring to you. John Holloman with Bernie Shaw and Peter Arnett live from Baghdad. So you'll be right. Thank you very much. We definitely will be back with you. Let's go now to the White House. The President of the United States is going to speak to the nation in a little more than a half an hour. And Charles Beerbaum. Well, the president has Don't been tell them where we are, okay. Throughout the evening, uh, we're told that National Security Advisor Brent Scowcroft is in the Situation Room uh, here at the White House. We're told that uh, the president is able to have instantaneous communication if he wants it with General Schwartz, who is the U.S. President. This is Atlanta to Baghdad. Again, just a caution on specifics. Please be careful. Did you tell him about the Amarch had phone? We're fine, Ed. Thanks. I have not had a confirmation back. Have you? There is no confirmation. I don't know. We should tell them based on what ABC is telling us. If we lose this line, that's our only link. Uh, this is Atlanta Baghdad. Do not, repeat, do not start up the Inmarsat for any reason until you talk with us further, okay? If we lose a line, that's the only reason we'd start it up is if we couldn't reach you any other way, Ed. Uh, negative. Negative. I'll get back to you and explain later. Okay. The president working on on that speech, actually a speech that he has been working on. Everything is out. Now, the question is, because of here, I think there is an argument to be made that once we get our lick in, that we declare that dish in Riyadh cool because of the agreement and all that you had with the Prince et al. I think I could argue persuasively that there was an understanding that there, there was confusion. ABC dropped the ball. There was a question about it. The balls fell down constantly. They didn't push it. They didn't walk it through as we did to get clearance, to get things in writing. They were lazy. They were sloppy. They were incompetent. There was just no question about it. And he should know that. I also think. The honorable thing is to make that clear. I hate saying that. And you could argue it would be right as hell saying to keep it unilateral. That's what I feel. Unless it's a military briefing or something, and the others can't get out of the British pool for some reason, then that's a different thing. Who's a pool reporter? Who's a pool reporter? Who is a pool reporter? I do not know. Uh, Jane. <coughs> Can you tell us yes. we reported what kind of Iraqi response did you really expect? Yes, Jacob said Jacob was just on the air loss. He said that there was an air raid. Well, may not be able to see ABC asking to use our core wire. I told him the same thing. We're going to get into a little war on this Riyadh dish, and we're going to win. My view is that we're going to get a little war.
We're going to get our election in, and we're not going to go there that bitch. Well, they say, well, we still don't have permission. They drag their feet. We're in war. They ought to fire that bitch up if they can do it. They have the permission. We're in war. Who's going to shut them down? I mean, they're trying to get a free ride, and I'm not going to give it to them. I told them. I mean, well, we, uh, I mean, they're so disorganized. Thank God we did what we did. There'd be no dish in Rio. Baghdad, this is Eason. Is Baghdad on? <laughs> I'm not here in Baghdad. Hello, Baghdad. Hello, Baghdad. Get me back to Baghdad. I'm on Baghdad. Baghdad. I, they, they didn't Anything answer back. Have Blitzer ready. I may not have Baghdad. They are not right? up. <laughs> Baghdad, this is Atlanta. Do you hear me, John? Baghdad is down. Yeah, this is Atlanta. Do you hear us? Is there any reason Baghdad should be down? We're not hearing them. Yeah, neither are we. We're trying to raise them. Back down, back down. This is Atlanta. John, do you hear me? Because in the field, you'll only tell you how you're out. But the first thing you do. Our guys say there's no one out there. Anything. Understood. But, but I'm with they have got to make every get the, the pool dish going. And until that is done, and that is confirmed, no, we're not They don't have permission. They can't fire up the dish. I said, that's their problem. That's their problem. That's their problem. Well, I mean, in more time you bring up the dish. I said, no, it's a theory. We're talking about Rio. Baghdad, Atlanta to Baghdad. Anybody there? Anybody there? As he Blitzer next, David the Blitzer. Baghdad, Baghdad, do you hear us? This is Amon, Charlie, pull down ISP so we can see if there is a talk of it. That's a switch out. That's a switch out. Who does? Amon wants IFP off. People that were uh, sitting in the U.S. and I told them that we heard that the hostilities were starting. They were serious, calm about it, and uh, they simply at that point thought it probably was all over. She's all right. You've got no pearls. I'm on back then. Do you hear me? Thank you. 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 But I have two correspondents from our shop, who is our next member, John Holloman. Are there any hours? Amon Baghdad, do you copy? Hey, will you tell him, do not, do not mention the location again to where they are? I've been saying that all fucking night for the most. I do.
Commander-in-Chief of the United States, uh, addressing the United States, I know that I'm all of the United States officials. Office of the Pentagon. They're getting the studio I'm on Baghdad. I'm on Baghdad. Do you copy? Dick, Dick, when are we going to get that other transponder? In London. Uh, we got one. But they got to get the fish moved and find the bird. It's going to take half an hour to an We got your ladder on this. We'll talk to him. He's got to get the engineers to talk to Hop.